welcome back to my channel education studies today we are going to study about national education policy 1986 since independence three policies have been launched these policies formulated by the government of india to promote and regulate education in india the first national education policy was promulgated by Prime Minister Indira Gandhi in the year 1968, which was based on the recommendations of Kothari Commission. The second national education policy was launched by Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi in the year 86, 1986, which we will be studying here in detail. And the third by Prime Minister Narendra Modi in the year 2020. The national education policy in 1986 is an extensive document that covers all aspects of education from elementary to university level including adult education in both rural and urban India. As we will move on in this context, in the context of national education policy in 1986, we will be studying the background of the policy, the reviews of national education policy in 1986, the committees which reviewed the policy, what were the objectives of the policy and were, what were different types of recommendations. Now let us have a look on the background of the policy, how it all started. It was on 5th January 1985 that the Prime Minister Mr. Rajiv Gandhi addressed to the nation Education must promote national cohesion and work ethics, the grandeur of a freedom struggle and its significance for national integration has to be brought home to every student. The curricula and the textbooks should curb parochial communal interpretation of a composite culture. The objectives of the policy are very clearly reflected in his address to the nation. In the year 1985 itself, in light of Mr. Rajiv Gandhi's address to the nation, it was decided by the central government to review the implementation of the policy of 1968. In this connection, a status paper, Challenges of Education, a Policy Perspective, was launched by the Government of India. On April 20th, 1986, the national policy was placed before the Indian Parliament for consideration and approval and it was passed by the parliament immediately and in August 1986 the parliament approved the program of action for the implementation of this policy. The National Policy of Education 1986 was reviewed twice First, in the year 1990, a committee was set up under the chairmanship of Achar and Ram Murthy in May 1990 to review the national policy of education and to make recommendations for its modifications. The committee submitted its report in December 1990. At the request of the Central Advisory Board of Education, a committee was set up in July 1991 under the chairmanship of Shri N. Janardhan Reddy, Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, to consider modifications in national policy of education, taking into consideration the reports of the Ramurthy Committee and other relevant developments and to make recommendations regarding modifications to be made in national policy of education. The committee sum submitted its report in January 1992. 
objectives of the policy to promote quality education to modernize curriculum to promote vocationalization of education especially at the secondary level to improve the literacy rate to awaken the people about various scientific and technological development to emphasize the necessity of adult education formal education farmer education and open school the recommendations of the policy have been discussed in 12 different parts the first part is the introductory second the essence and role of education national system of education education for equality reorganization of educational programs technical and management education making the system work reorienting the content and process of education the teacher and the teacher education the management of education the resources and review and the future in further slides we will be studying these recommendations in detail in the introductory part of the recommendations it besides some definitions it has been mentioned that the policy needs to be planned meticulously and should be executed with great sensibility the second part is the essence and the role of education education for all round development of the personality a culturating role education has to play an a culturating role as it refines sensitivities and perceptions that contribute to national cohesion a scientific temper and independence of mind and spirit thus furthering the goals of socialism secularism and democracy enshrined in a constitution manpower development education develops manpower for different levels of national economy a unique investment education is a unique investment in the present and the future for all round development of nation in all its manifestations np 1986 suggested recommendations with the respect to national system of education national system of education implies that up to a given level all students irrespective of their caste creed location or sex should have access to education national system of education in context of the np 1986 has been discussed at various levels first we have common educational structure common educational structure it envisages a common structure that is 10 plus 2 plus 3 which was the recommendation of kothari commission 1964 1966 first 10 years include 5 years of primary 3 years of upper primary plus 2 years of high school plus 2 indicates higher secondary level and plus 3 undergraduate courses like ba bsc bcom etc next we have national curricular framework the following common scheme of studies has been suggested in the national curricular framework one language at primary level and three languages at the upper primary and secondary level mathematics environmental studies science and social studies work experience scpw free vocational courses art education health and physical education the common core will include the history of india's freedom movement the constitutional obligations and other content essential to nurture national identity to promote values such as india's common cultural heritage democracy secularism equality inculcation of scientific temper etc under national system of education we have another point that is understanding of cultural and social system national education policy 1986 states that steps will be taken to foster among the students an understanding of the diverse cultural and social systems of the people 
living in different parts of the country. To promote this objective, the link language has to be developed and a program of translating books from one language to another and publishing multilingual dictionaries and glossaries should be under national system of education, a certain other recommendations are important here with respect to inter-regional mobility. The NPE suggested that in higher education in general and technical education in particular, steps will be taken to facilitate inter-regional mobility by providing equal access to every Indian of requisite merit regardless of his origin. With respect to educational reforms, uh, the NP stated that the nation as a whole assumes the responsibility of providing research support for implementing programs of educational transformation, reducing disparities, universalization of elementary education, adult literacy, scientific and technological research, etc. With respect to lifelong education, it uh, stated that the opportunities to be provided to the youth, housewives, agricultural and industrial workers and professionals to continue the education of the choice at their own pace. The emphasis will be on in the direction of open and distance learning. Further, it emphasizes on the strengthening of national institutions. The NP 1986 recommends that the institutions of national importance like uh, UGC, NCRT, NEPA, ICAR, IMC, etc. will be strengthened to enable them to give shape to national system of education and to cope up with the emerging demands of the nation. Education for Equality NPE 1986 lays special emphasis on the removal of disparities and to equalize educational opportunity by attending to the specific needs of those who have been deprived of so far. So, uh, education for women's equality, for scheduled castes, for scheduled tribes, for backward sections, for minorities, for handicapped and as well as adult and continuing education. Reorganization of education at different levels. Early childhood care and education for all-round development of the child. Early childhood care and education will be accorded top priority and will be integrated with child development services programs wherever possible. Programs of early childhood care and education will be child-centered. They will focus around play and development of individuality of the child. Formal methods will be out and local community will be involved in these programs. With respect to elementary education, it was said that top priority to solve the issues of dropouts of the school. Here two aspects have been emphasized that is that a universal enrollment and retention of children up to 14 years of age and a substantial improvement in the quality of education. With respect to secondary education, the policy uh, wants to expose students to the differentiated roles of science, humanities and social studies, vocationalization through specialized institution is emphasized and access of secondary education to be widened. It also stated that pace setting schools or Navodhya Vidyales to be established in various parts of the country to perform to provide opportunities to children with special talents. Vocationalization of education. It was at plus two stage that vocationalization was emphasized. It received great importance in the policy to prepare children for various occupation. Vocationalization of education is important. 
and emphasis should be laid on self employment as well as establishing of vocational institutions was also given importance with respect to higher education the policy stated that autonomous colleges to be developed in large number and methods of teaching to be uh, supported by audio visual aids and uh, at higher education level um, quality research should be ensured open universities and distance learning the open university system will be initiated to augment opportunities for higher education and as an instrument of democratizing education igno established in 1985 will be strengthened and uh, it also emphasizes the delinking de of degree degrees from job in selected areas the policy emphasized on delinking of degrees from job in selected areas and uh, the policy also stated for the development of rural universities on the lines of gandhi ji's concept of education technical and management education appropriate formal and non formal programs of technical education will be devised for the benefit of women the economically and socially weaker section and physically handicapped to encourage students to consider self employment as a career option training in entrepreneurship will be provided through modular or optional courses in degree or diploma programs the community polytechnic system will be appraised and appropriately strengthened to increase its quality and coverage research aiming at producing manpower will be undertaken by all higher technical institutions networking systems will have to be established between technical education and industry as technical and management education is expensive steps will be taken for cost effectiveness and promotion of excellence making the system work the country has placed boundless trust in educational system the first task is to make it work now teachers will have greater responsibility and accountability provision of improved student services should be there and performance of performance appraisal of institutions at national or state level provision of better facilities to institutions let's move on to another recommendation related to reorienting the content and process of education here cultural content should be incorporated value education should be emphasized emphasized and uh, development of languages should be given importance quality books should be ensured improvement of libraries inclusion of educational technology work experiences should be included and environment should be enriched as well as evaluation with process and examinations reforms were also suggested by the np 1986 part 9 of the np 1986 states about the teacher and the teacher education here it is stated that methods of recruiting teachers to be reorganized code of professional ethics were laid down for for the teachers establishment of district institutes of education and training upgrading selected teacher training colleges national council of teacher education to be established and networking arrangements should be made with respect to teacher education the management of education 
the guiding consideration for overhauling the system of planning and management of education will be evolving a long term planning and management and its integration with the country's development and manpower needs decentralization and creation of a spirit of autonomy for educational institutions giving preeminence to people's involvement inducting more women in planning and management of education and establishing accountability at national level central advisory board of education will play a pivotal role in reviewing educational development and in monitoring implementation at state level state advisory board of education will may be established on the lines of central advisory board of education at the district level district board of education will be created to manage education up to higher secondary level at local level local communities and appropriate bodies will be assigned a major role in program of such school improvement besides voluntary agencies non government and voluntary agencies will be encouraged with financial help to make commendable contribution in the development of education system uh, national education policy 1986 mentions the resources and the reviews the list of which is as follows mobilization of donations asking the beneficiary communities to maintain school buildings and supplies of some consumable raising fees at the higher level of education affecting some savings by the efficient use of facilities asking the institutions involved with research and development of technical and scientific manpower to mobilize some funds by levying access or charge on the user agency so these were the resources list of resources mentioned by npe the implementation of various parameters by the new education policy must be reviewed every 5 year appraisal at short intervals will also be made to ascertain the progress of implementation and the trends emerging from time to time so this is all in this new education policy 1986 it is a long policy with so many recommendations though i have tried to provide you details on many points but still it cannot be said that uh, i have provided you the ultimate thing so you need to study the national education policy in detail in its original form thank you for watching and keep